Hey guys, Caleb here with DSLR Video Shooter, and today we're talking about connecting two different microphone systems to your camera with just a simple $5 cable. So today we're doing something really simple but really, really handy. We're going to connect two different microphones to one camera without any special recorders or audio devices or preamps and we're going to use this $5 cable. Now it looks like a splitter and it kind of is but it's a little special. Typically a splitter will have left and right for both of the two ends but this cable separates the left and right. So the whole idea is we'll have two different audio sources that go into the camera and they stay one in the left and one in the right so we have two channel audio here this means when you sit down to edit you'll be able to independently control the levels we'll talk about that and show that here in a second so the cable is really simple on one end we have two 3.5 millimeter inputs a red one and a black one so left and right at the other end, they're brought together, but they're still separated left and right. So I'm gonna go ahead and hook this up here. I'm going to plug the male end of the cable into my GH5 here. And then I'm going to connect a Rode Video Micro to one of the inputs. And already you can see here on the camera screen that we're only getting audio in the left channel, so we're off to a great start. Now I'm going to take an audio receiver and plug that into the camera. Now I'll take this little lapel microphone, attach it to my shirt temporarily, and now we have both microphones hooked up into the camera. If we look at the levels at the back of the screen, you'll notice they're slightly different because we have one microphone in the left, one in the right. So at this point I can cut and post to the lapel microphone, check one, two, three, or over to the Rode Video Micro just above the camera, as you can see right here. Um, and I can separate them, completely change the levels, add filters and plugins and whatnot. Now, a couple use cases. The first one would be just normally filming yourself or a single person. Having two different microphones is always a great way to go. It gives you a backup just in case one of them fails, and sometimes if you know this camera is on the move, this microphone might be too far away and you could switch to the wireless one. Or if the person had to stand up and move around, you're good to go. You don't have to stop everything and re-mic them. Another use case would be recording two different people. You could have two different shotgun microphones pointed at them or two different lapels. It's really, really flexible and a great way to go if you need to have two microphones going into one camera. And this is the beautiful thing five dollars for this cable as opposed to buying a recorder or a preamp where you would have to spend more and have another battery and another record button to deal with so if you need to stay lightweight and mobile a setup like this will easily let you get two microphones so let's head over to the computer and jump into final cut and show you how you could separate the two all right so we have a clip from the camera that was using that little splitter and let's play with some audio channels so i'm in final cut what you want to do is once you select the clip, make sure that you hit command four and that will bring up the audio tab. And under this audio configuration, you will see a ton of different audio channels for me because I'm using this crazy uh, multicam setup. But for your setup with this cable, you will see dialog one and dialog two. That's your left and right. Before we mess with this, make sure that it's set to mono. It should say dual mono here instead of eight mono. And what we're going to be doing is unchecking dialog two. This will give us just the left channel. So let's take a listen. So at this point I can cut and post to the lapel microphone. So that is the Rode Video Micro. And at this point in the audio clip, um, I wasn't facing it. So this would be a bad place to use it. So let's go ahead and make a cut right here and jump back to the front of the clip. We're going to select that clip and I am going to turn off dialog one and turn on dialog two or whatever it says here for you on your second channel. And now we have bigger, juicier waveforms here from our lapel microphone. So at this point I can cut and post to the lapel microphone. Now it sounds like crap because I didn't change the settings correctly, but you get the idea. You can switch to that microphone. And now on the second part of the clip, we can make sure that dialog one is selected and that is our Rode Video Micro. Or over to the Rode Video Micro just above the camera as you can see 
right here. So the whole point is you can go through and cut the clips up and be able to select what audio is being played using this audio configuration in Final Cut. And the same kind of thing is gonna go for any editor out there. So there you have it guys, one $5 cable lets you use two different microphones with your camera without any special equipment and you can plug it directly into that little 3.5 millimeter mic input it'll work with pretty much every single camera out there and you can find a link to it in the description so that's going to wrap up this video i know it's a short and simple one but i thought it was pretty cool and i'm going to be using this to test some upcoming really cool microphones that i found recently so you can watch tons of other videos here at dslr video shooter thank you for watching and i will see you in next video.